pet trendologist Charlotte Reed and the host of WSRQ's The Pet Buzz is with us today and she brought a little friend along. Who is this? I brought Ty, my six-year-old English toy spaniel. And his tongue hangs out, so everyone thinks he's thirsty, but he's oh, handy, he has hang tongue. So this is natural for him. Hey, well, we're going to be talking about traveling with your no. pet this summer. What's the first thing you should consider? Well, I have to tell you, I have had a grueling tra travel schedule. Ty and I went to the Belmont Stakes, mm. went to Aww. Chicago, and oh. we just got in last night to be with you all today. Oh, oh how was the Belmont Stakes? Oh, my God, it was great. Oh, let's you get my hat. Now, Christine oh, my Moore, I remember you showed last time, she made those hats for us. Oh, yes. wow. Those are so, fabulous. Awesome. Orange was a lucky color because I spent a lot of time in the barn, and I actually got to see American Pharaoh coming out of the barn. That's so incredible. that was my highlight shot. But once I got to Chicago, I needed a car, and I needed to travel around with Ty. So that's what we're going <laughs> to talk about today. Ty has an itch. Well, all dogs can't travel, right? And that's a great question that you brought up or a great comment. Not every dog is appropriate to travel. So you want to ask yourself, is he going to be calm? Is he friendly? Is he going to be easygoing when you're on the road? Because more people, especially in the summer months, do travel with their mm -hmm. dogs. And all cars won't take dogs. Mm. Not all cars do, but you want to make sure that if you your car is pet friendly. And what I mean by that is if you have an older dog like you do, you want to <laughs> make sure it's lower to the ground. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure it has wide cargo area. And I think we have a shot of a great Subaru Forester wow. limited to 251. And you can see it has lots and lots of oh, room yeah. for the dog, for the supplies. You can see my golden retriever, that's Hannah, in there somewhere in that crate. Because generally, most people with larger dogs travel with a crate in the back of the car. Mm -hmm. but, there's oh. some, right, but there are also some other options for people. So with smaller dogs, I like this, and this is crash tested. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Okay. It is called the Pup Saver. You can use it as a rear-facing car seat. Uh, oh, wow. It generally is shown in the front of the car. I don't like driver distraction mm -hmm. like this was shown mm -hmm. in the front of the car. I put it in the back of the car. But what's nice about it, if you're in an accident, this falls over like a clamshell. Oh. So your oh. dog is protected. Oh. protected. And, I love seat that. I love and it's seatbelts in. And it's seatbelts in, and your dog is actually attached inside. Okay. okay. Awesome. Also, I brought my wonderful cat, Hayden, who used to show every single weekend. And this is a sturdy pop-up shelter. Now, what's nice about that is Hayden has a hammock, a litter box. A litter box is in there. Oh, my God. We can take a shot. Look water. at this. Everything you'd ever need in that kitty right. condo. And it's portable down right. on the floor. And it's safety belts in, just like the pup saver, just like the crate. But I stick it on the back seat. So I had one trip, five dogs and a cat when I moved to oh Florida. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and Dr. Fleck. Okay, How do you keep there. your car clean with all that well, going Keeping on. your car clean is really a and big thing for your me. Stuff. Especially yeah. since <laughs> I have so many pets. Well, I like these Husky liners. And what I like is they're custom made for your car. Oh, yeah. So you call... Through laser technology, mm -hmm. they make it, you tell them the model, mm -hmm. they'll send you the Husky liner for the back as well as for the inside seats oh, and wow. the passenger. So it's nice and clean. It's heavy, but it's <laughs> soft. It's easy to clean up. So if you spill water, if you're feeding your dog in the back of the car, and also for all of that hair that accumulates. Oh, yeah. That's great. Yeah. That's and the there are cleats part. on the bottom that actually stick into the carpet. Or think about those trips when your dog gets out and it's raining. Yeah. And you don't want the mud back Muddy in there. Yeah. It's just everywhere. Okay, next up, you've got to keep your pet on that food and water schedule. Mm -hmm. And when I travel, I need hydration. I'm always drinking water. So, of course, I brought water, mm -hmm. but I bought some Avengers Pet Foods. Now, this is their new high bio diet. It's easy to carry around because it's a semi moist diet. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. So, remember Gainsborough's like the old that. days, but this yeah. is an all natural and it's low sodium, so it doesn't mm -hmm. make your pet extra thirsty. Mm -hmm. And then I also, for people who like to carry their cats with them, there are all these great little tubs that you can see here. And the flavors are amazing. Chicken Mayflower, Chicken Polynesian. Wow. <laughs> and then you have the tub. It's eco-friendly. And then you can throw it away. Oh, and they can eat right out of it. That's yep. great. Now, Don't what's the one thing that everyone always forgets to bring when they're traveling with their pet? The poop wow. bag. Exactly. <laughs> now, this is a, now this is a mouthful. Sooty Paw Paw Pet Products makes these wonderful eco-friendly. They're 9 by 12 bags. So whatever size. So if you have the big Weimaraner who does the big poops, mm -hmm. they're super durable. Wow. Don't laugh. I <laughs> keep this box of a thousand in my car. I think that's an right? awesome idea. And then when I travel, I just stick oh, it right on my belt like that. What is this? Right on my belt like that. You wear the poop bags, Boba. Uh, and I'm oh, going to tell you. something with poop in it. I didn't want no, it. No, of course not. <laughs> you don't wear them after they're full. I would, I would never, <laughs> ever, ever. You carry them, don't you, Linda? I would never, ever 
soil bow. That's beautiful <laughs> outfit. But the it's reason clean. I always tell people, especially since you all know, I I actually live in a vet practice mm -hmm. with Dr. Fleck, my boyfriend. So one of the things that we put outside was a poop container because people let their dog out and they never clean up. Yes, oh. So now there's 50,000 kind of poop containers. And last but not least, the one thing that everyone needs when they travel, especially if they're going to the beach mm -hmm. or going to the mountains, is sunscreen. Mm. Oh, so, for the dog? For the dog. This is the only, every, most people don't know, sunscreen no, is a drug and it has to be FDA compliant. So oh. EpiPet is the only FDA compliant sunscreen. Oh, wow. I did not know that. Oh, that's interesting. And it's that's nice great. because it's in oh, a sports bottle. It's a nice spray. It's, and I, it's I in a sports bottle. I have learned so much from you, Charlotte. Like it. Oh. And it's in a sports bottle, so you just turn oh, it up. Ty's like, like, really? Oh, you're a master <laughs> traveler. Really? He's so yeah. laid back. Oh, this, oh and that smells so great. Helpful. You can learn more from Charlotte at charlottereed.com. And don't forget to listen to my show on Sunday. Yeah, on Sunday. And I brought you guys all mugs for Friday. Yay! And we'll be right back with Cat's Big Makeover. Have a cat-friendly summer, everybody. <laughs>